right, and we're back here with Venya versus Jewel. So I've got a little bit of a story for you guys on this one. Venya, more or less in Jewel's words, is Jewel's teacher. Um, very recently at Deadly Alliance, took his first win over him in bracket uh, to send him over to losers, and then Venya comes back and defeats him in the grand finals, with Jewel taking second and Venya taking first place. So. Jewel has been feeling, I would say, quite empowered lately with his recent wins. He's taken games off of Mr. E, off of Venya, off of, uh, oh, who am I forgetting? Off of Jen, uh, He's been uh, quite a presence, and I believe currently he's been uh, steadily creeping his way up and is currently in the top 10. But I could be wrong, I have not checked lately. Uh, going into this match right now, goes for the hard read on the air dodge, but still doesn't get the punish. This matchup is a little bit difficult um, in the sense that if Jewel wants to have an easier time, he needs to get the stock first, uh, and Venya is most likely not going to let him. Uh, Greninja has every capacity to stay at the range, which Robin hates, which is close enough to punish basically anything, and uh, far enough that throwing out Levin Sword probably won't get it done. All right, air dodge is there. Yep. Oh, gets back up with the book. He gives him with the book. Oh, no. That is a trick. If he runs out of arc fires and grabs the ledge with the very end of it, the book will go off directly behind him. And that will gimp. Uh, resetting back to two stocks, neutral. Still no advantage for either player just yet, which means that Jewel will have to fight through the neutral here if he wants to gain that advantage. Start uh, playing back a little bit more. All right, goes for the B reverse Nosferatu. No dice on that back up stage. All right. Oh, solid call out. He's eating all these Levin Swords, all the percents. Jewel doesn't actually get to catch the Levin Sword, which does help with a bit of setup for projectile play, but that's okay. Sitting at fairly even percents right now. All right, top air dodge there. Venya doing a good job of keeping him off the stage, but then does get the down tilt a little misspaced, which allows Jewel back. Oh, solid call out on the up smash. That was, that could have been very bad. That was a bit of a poorly spaced jump into Venya there. Uh, you see him fade back away. He's basically doing his best not to contest um, Greninja's hitboxes directly, if he can because while uh, Robin does have the Levin Sword, it's no guarantee to beat out Disjoints. Let's get the stock, 153. He is gonna start being out of confirm ranges for Greninja, although throw starts to become a lethal factor at this point. All right, chasing him off stage, he's trying to look for the kill. Doing a really good job of weaving past him with these l -wings. All right, there it is. Throw kill with not a single bit of extra credit. Every stock. Uh, that we see. These guys are going dead even. Although, I, I'd say the first is a given. Alright. You can get out. That jab does send up. That can be tricky. Uh, not a kill percent, so it's not a huge concern. Good confirm off of the uh, arc fire. Combo breaks with... That's another thing. Books and uh, Levin Sword can all combo break if they fall out of Robin's hand and hit you when you try to, try to combo. Try to give him a prop. Good spacing. That was a really good arc fire on the ledge, by the way, but Venya already has his ledge invincibility. Okay. Bread and butter punish, but that's fine. Goes really heavy off stage and gives it to Jewel. All right, this is where it gets scary. Arc fire at the ledge. Z drops to keep a hitbox out while he sits in shield. Up air will do it. All right, solid play there. So even with uh, the GIMP, I'm, I'm hesitant to call it a GIMP. It may either be a GIMP or SD, depending on your opinion. Uh, early on, Venya bringing it back pretty cleanly. 98%, uh, so not at a crazy death percent, but one stray arc fire Stop into up smash can kill it. Hopping right into it. Game two, Pokemon Stadium. 
So the longest stage in uh, Zeno's current legal stage list, I believe. Uh, and this is the stage you want to go to if you feel that you can zone out your opponent. Um, gives you a lot of room to run away. But Greninja does have the capacity here to chase down. Um, he is faster than Robin. Go re-stand there. Down to the up smash, sitting on 103% already. Good shark through the platform there. All right. All right. Tries to trap with the Levin Sword. Nothing off of it. So yes, this is good for uh, keeping space if you can keep your opponent out, but Greninja, very difficult to keep away from you very long, especially if he wants to aggress you like Venya's doing right now, giving him very little chances to breathe. Good jump over the arc fire right there. Still right. no slowing it down, spacing out. Arc Thunder, very difficult to combo out of now. Uh, faster travel speed and re-hit rate. All right. And he's getting the ledge pressure. Oh no, the early kill that killed at 35. All right, so this is uh, incredibly difficult to come back from at this point. Uh, it's doable. Robin does have the kill power, uh, especially if Jewel can get one or two good setups, good reads. That's a start. But uh, the being able to space out, play patient with your opponent, that does work both ways in a situation like this. Because Venya has the lead, he doesn't need to approach if he doesn't want to. He can give up a decent amount of stage control and then take it back at will. He doesn't always have to respect Robin's projectiles, especially something like Arcfire. All right. Gets, I think that's the first notice for Atu of the set. Like that. All right. Keeping him up on the platform, not letting him land for three. Bit of a... No death. That's fine. He's still alive. He's still with us. Not to jinx it. I might have... No, good DI. Can we live those? Falling up air. He does give up the stage to do that, but the extra percent will help. Venya has a full stock lead, and it's going to be kind of difficult for Jewel to make it back. So, Understandable call. This is... Yeah. That's it. Regrab, which would mean no invincibility. Uh, and the mix up was do I go above the ledge or do I grab the ledge? Uh, both of which were completely covered by Greninja's down smash. There's no threat of being hit because Robin's uh, L Thunder only hits down. Well, hits at an angle, but none of them above him. Uh, and a very. I'd say checkmate scenario, honestly, if there was one in that matchup.